Hyperscape PS5 Season 3. Whatever that means. Once again, searching for a persistent procedural online multiplayer first person shooter, Battle Royale, Drop a Man, Fortnite, Escape Plan, Session from Reality. Superhuman, Carmen Fiber, Shadow Run, Cyberpunk, Split Gate, Lemnis Gate, Hell's Gate, FPS Online Shooter Action. Continued procedural generate them up. But it's gotta be free to play. I wanna grind, I wanna gear, I wanna loot, I want a thousand hours, I want a dual sense, analog stick, no triggers, haptics, breaking off the feedback, pressure, sensitive time loop, enter into the hyperscape. It already skipped the cutscene on me, but no matter. Welcome to Fortnite. Hello, contender. Welcome to the hyperscape. I'm glad you're here. You've connected to the hyperscape. She looks like Doral from a uh, Virtual Fighter 4. Created by Prisma Dimensions. The hyperscape is your gateway to a fantastic future. A place to meet friends, express your identity, and of course, flex your skills and express power. your identity in a first person shooter that's free to play on PlayStation that nobody knows about because it's dead already. The only thing about these multiplayer games is by the time you hear about them and find out which one's good, it's dead. Uh, I like this dude. But I also like this chick. Murder Casual Link. Mm, why do I like these girls? Well, I mean, I like girls. Nothing wrong with that. Inspect. What kind of game is this? Good enough. Good enough. Let's go. Good enough. Let's play a game. Um, a first-person shooter game. A PlayStation 5 game. A free-to-play game, most importantly. Mm, a multiplayer game. An instant action game. A solo team. Looking Battle Royale. Take a moment to get used to your new skin while the hyperscape portal activates. Everybody wants to upload to the cloud link. Training zone for you to test out. You'll also find hacks which provide offensive, defensive, or movement capabilities. I like the sound of movement. See how they work. Well, give me control of the character, and maybe I will. All right, I'm in. Wow, this is, uh, fucking zipping. Holy shit. Um, let me intuit the controls. Zip them up. Wow, not R1. They really want you to break these triggers. They really do. Uh, circle. What is it with this circle is crouch thing? Alright. Um, slam. Emit shockwave. I like that. Like, a uh, twisted metal. Emit shockwave. Um, what else? Ball. Bounce to protect. Uh, block damage temporarily. Why would I not do that? Heal allies within radius. Fuck them. Reveal enemies ahead of you. Reveal. Pull enemies. Become temporary invisible. Mm, homie mine. Shoot. Create a protective. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do you think? Identify enemies or become invisible so they can't identify me. Uh, maybe I would just want to become invisible. Um, what did she say she was? Who was that her? Give me this gun. Pick it up. Pick it up. Um, shooting feels really trashy. Really not good at all. Um, alright, pretty cool. Wow, you don't have to be very accurate, huh? Let's see how unaccurate I can be. He's looking at him? What? What? Maybe it's just that gun. Uh. Wow, wow, we wow. Are you, are you serious? Are you seeing this shit? Oh, maybe if it's sitting the guy on the right. Is this how the game's supposed to go? Triangle, the switch. Wow, you don't have to be very accurate no, at all. No. Alright, cool. Maybe I'll love this game. Maybe I'll love this game then. But I have good accuracy. Who are you talking about? I have good accuracy. Who are you calling inaccurate? I don't like any of these guns. Dude, so... G Games are just not very good now, huh? They don't know how to make them fun? They just build a These publishers just, uh... They just build a bunch of assets, huh? 
They just build a bunch of assets, huh? And drop them in. And they don't really think about, uh... That's terrible. They don't really think about having fun. They don't really think about design. Because they're publishers, they're not designers. They don't know how to design games. Alright. Alright, not bad. Um, Apex was better. I can already say it now. And, uh, I'm realizing why this game died. Okay. Let's go, let's play a match. Nobody cares. I don't want to learn anything. I just want to play. I just want to play. Do I have to wait for it to install? Oh, boy. This gun seems fine. Seems fine. Let's go. When can I not play? Uh, man, I gotta admit. So, it's a shame that Apex turned out the way it did, which is to say that I didn't like it. Because I think that it is a good game. I think it's just not my taste. Um... But what it did was, it gave me a sense of thinking, I really want a first-person shooter. I also really would like a competitive action game to get better at and can play continuously, instant action, to keep playing, um, to complement single-player games. Uh, it told me that I like playing solo, not on teams. It told me that I like BRs. Um, that idea of dropping in and scavenging loot hurriedly, and then... Uh, finding finding enemies, finding enemies, and um, seeing them and spotting them from afar and hunting them. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so these guns are all slow. This looks like Valorant and Fortnite. It just looks like these cartoon graphics. I'm not into that. I want. I mean, maybe Warzone's it. Caldera, December third though. That's a long away. That's like three weeks away. It's forever. Three weeks away? Elden Ring's not even a week away, dude. Demo, that is. Demo, that is. But, um, okay, so the dual sense really, uh, it really works well with... Now, how inaccurate can I be with this thing? It's gotta be very accurate. Okay. Is this the one I had? These guns are whack. None of them are fast enough. Yeah, Apex was better. Shit! Can I play yet or what? I have to wait for it to fucking install? Well, why did I even come in here? A melee weapon, huh? Perfect. Oh, those are the perks. L1 and R1 are the uh, specials. Okay. Reload. Crouch. What's, uh... Switch weapons. And that's jump. Double jump. Alright. Alright. So this is the hyperscape, huh? It won't let me go. It won't let me go because it's got to install. Okay, I can wait. Uh, not really, though. A fast interlude? What about that, uh, that cutscene? Why can't I watch that cutscene again? What about this poor dude? But what else is there? What else is there to say? It's hyperscape. What do you have to say? What do you want? Reload, come on! What about the options? What about the menu? What about all this shit? All this dumbass shit. That's it? Until next time? First match? That's it? Quick intro? That's it? Let me watch the cutscene or something. Let me watch a cutscene. This can't be the end of the video. What's melee? Right. What's melee? That's aim. Um, whole triangle? Yeah. Break them open. Mammoth. So then what do you get? Invisibility cooldown. So it's a special for your. Man, I bet this game sucks. Alright, fine. Well, until it installs, that's the fucking intro. Hyperscape. My, um, expectations are low. In a desperate search to find a free-to-play multiplayer shooter in an endless world. Of knockoffs and copycat ripoffs. Reloading.
Take two, hyperscape into the uh, Lemnis Gate as the shadow rises over the free-to-play online multiplayer shooting game Amops on a desperate search into the future of multiplayer uh, extended service as a game. Big publisher, AAA box uh, action. Give me something to play, please. An online game, a multiplayer game, a versus competitive instant action online shoot 'em up game. To take advantage of the dual sense, twin analog, uh, L3, R3, left click, right click, uh, literal lateral. The only decent thing about the stupid controller is the is the uh, look Hello, speed. Contender. I already did this in the first video. I'm glad you're here. I know. Now it's downloaded. Now it's installed. We did this already, Doral. I'm not going to repeat the first thing and pretend that I didn't see this already. I tried out all the guns. The crosshair reticle auto targeting is ridiculous. I tried out the jump button. I tried out the crouch button. It's circle. Spoiler alert. I picked an identity and I picked a perk. I want to be invisible and I want to be invincible. I like her. Let's go. Dropping in, loading in, Deus Ex. Just give me a shooting game that I can play. I didn't think I'd be into first person shooters, but I've always been into first person shooters. Since the PS2, since the PS3, since the PC. I've always liked it. So now, lo and behold, every publisher uh, with a name on its uh, back has got a, a free to play one. So let's go. What do I want to play? Hell Let Loose? No. Enlisted? Maybe. Hyperscape? I doubt it. Fortnite? Blah. I'd rather eat the cereal that a Fortnite code came in. What one do I want? Invulnerable. And then I also want uh, Invisible. And what gun do I like? The hyperscape is now fully loaded I don't know. For your fully loaded, thank and fucking god. Blast this shit. Blast him up. Let's get at it, contenders. Weapons and hacks can both be Give me a real gun. I think the Ripper's halfway decent. Why don't I use this shit too? That thing sucks. Give me a rocket. Give me a rocket. No, don't use those. Give me uh, a bomb. Sure. Maybe this. Skybreaker. All right, let's go. Triple rocket launcher. Unreal tournament. Let's go. Hyperscape. Hyperscape. All right, see you later. Finally. Half fusion, half fusion. Show the cutscene again so I can watch. Get some cutscenes. I mean, screenshots. It doesn't matter. Let's go. I need a game, 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 game. I need an instant action online always. Welcome Go to the to portal. The Who cares? This is our shop. If uh, no, dude. Gear, no, dude. Outfits, emotes, melee weapons, and much more. Play. Hold the play. So, hold this the play. Awesome. That's the play place. That's the battle pass. A so no, you cannot. No, you cannot. We connect with them in the game. We connect with them in the game, you fucking idiot. Uh, do I want to train anymore? No. The city opens to you. Alone or with friends. How about we just fucking play? Uh, low activity. Solo. Ooh, there's a solo, huh? The original Hyperscape Battle Royale experience in squads of three. Uh, team Deathmatch? I'm down with that. Maybe some Team Deathmatch. So no one likes uh no one likes team anymore. They like solo and it's oh it's ranked. All right. Uh let me do a team. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down for a team. Looking for a match 3 minutes. Oh my god. And this is crossplay. My locker. You can find my squad. You know what? Fuck team deathmatch. Nobody gives a shit about that. Cancel that shit. Matchmaking in progress. What? No. Find solo. Looking for a match. Boom, and I'm in there, right? Right. Wall hack, huh? Dropping in to Fortnite. 
Welcome, contender. The dual sense is green. It's up to you and your weights to survive all other contenders. All right, let's go. Dropping in. Uh, already, the movement is. This is worse than Apex. I'll tell you immediately. The movement is. Uh, Get ready to fight. Slippery, as is the aim. How do I get it there? Like I was constant double jumping. Time to play contenders. Eliminate all other contenders. Or secure the crown to win. Why don't you just stay up here forever? Zone in here. Drop the dubstep, drop the beat. The bus depot. That's where I'm going first, dude. The bus depot. Uh, why don't I go to the school? We're gonna reroute. And then drop into the zone. All right. Um, so it's like uh, huh, all right. Just use them right away. I think someone landed by me. Can I climb on these bushes? Might want a second weapon. How about this? Keep the rocket launcher out though. Uh, it'd be funny if I played an empty uh empty lobby. So where is everybody? So now this is where the game begins, huh? I like that you can just, um... I hear, yeah, like triple, triple footsteps. And it's just me. Um, I also like how lonely it feels once you drop into a VR and you gotta go look for people. That's the most fun part. It's like a, it's like a heavy rush to get a gun. Alright, so people are in here. I don't know if there's any, uh... Load a run. Let's go up here. Warning. Sectors will soon be collapsing. I wonder where people uh yeah, I wonder where people drump uh drop in or jump in. Uh the cartoon graphics are kinda not my style. I think this game sucks. I hear somebody. Where do people um ordinarily go? You have to look around. This is fun. So this concept of a BR, of just like it being super casual and dumb, and looking, this is pretty tight. Maybe people really do like this and don't hate it. Um, I was always a Team Deathmatch fan and a CTF fan, but they don't really make levels anymore, so... Shoot it again, you idiot. Don't you shoot once. It shot one rocket. What the fuck? Report, because he beat me. Let the battle begin. Eliminate all other contenders. Or secure the crown. I reload. New contender on the rise. That's where I was, huh? Changer? So, where it's dark, you can't go anymore? Let me see if I can, uh... Fuck that rocket launcher. Second chances are about to run out, contenders. Oh, a second chance? That's kind of, um... Well, I mean, I wouldn't... I would just go back to the lobby, no so... I don't know. Chances, contenders. Is that how a From lot of people feel? They down. don't like, um... There's somebody right there. Need a gun. Wow, I didn't get him either? Alright. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't like it. Um, Three shots and he's not dead, huh? Let's load again. Crown Rush, go again. Mm, and now you gotta wait. Yeah, I could say I already I like the Apex better. The guns were better. The aiming and the running felt better. Your character felt better. Graphics were better. Shit! Uh, damn it. Um, let's play again. Good thing these things are free because they're trash. I never would have fucking bought this. And then the game Lemnus Gate comes out, and then Splitgate's like, oh, it's the same game with the same name, and it's also free. Whoops. Damn, that sucks. Maybe I should have downloaded that. How long does this take? 35 minutes. I hate online multiplayer. But that that's that idea of a BR. See, because with a with a, a free to play deathmatch game, or not free to play, free for all deathmatch or team deathmatch, it doesn't matter. Respawns. There's not really a sense of urgency or severity to any of your actions. Um 
I think it's more the the attitude of jumping in, getting guns, and then going and looking for people. So that's what I like, hunting and looking for people or spotting somebody. Um, also, Apex had that big map that was like kind of like a Far Cry style looking map or Crisis. Um, but yeah, I guess the concept of hitting somebody and then they respawn, that doesn't really work. But also this concept of like when you had that Star Wars Battlefront style domination where it's different spawn points, people just cluster around one. The original Star Wars Battlefront on PS2, even with AI, did a good job of moving, pushing people and moving people around the map. And um, DICE was resp- – I don't know if DICE was responsible for that one. EA was. But um, even, even with the original Battlefield games, it, those games had great levels where the, the focus of the battle and the choke points got pushed from area to area to area. Um, So with the free-for-all game, I don't know that there would be an urgency to rush to score high um, if you're just kind of throwing lives away, even though that's kind of the point, respawning and and winning lives. Um, But I mean, I like Killzone, Battle, or um, Call of Duty does a good job with that. I think maybe it would depend on whether the game was designed around deathmatch or designed around BR, this idea of having both, I don't know that that would really work. Like, like, because when Modern Warfare came out, people liked, what, Gunfight, and they liked, because, like, Gunfight was a design mode, which is similar to, I guess Gunfight was in other, was in other uh, CODs, which is, like, where every kill you get, it automatically upgrades your weapon. I forget what that shit was called. I had buddies that really liked Black Ops and, and Modern Warfare. Um, so I kind of just played it with them. But I mean, I played Star Wars Battlefront and uh, a little bit of, like I said, Battlefield 2. I didn't play 3 or 4. So it when, when Deathmatch games and first-person shooter games moved away from arena-style Deathmatch, UT, Quake 3 Arena, and Halo, they moved away from Deathmatch and, and Capture the Flag. And they, they what? They tried different modes. Like Call of Duty tried a lot of different modes. Hold the flag being my favorite. Um, and then Battle Star Wars Battlefront came out and Battlefield 1942 came out and 2142. And um They they introduced that like domination style where you're moving from area to area, but that's the spawn point and you have to capture and hold that area. And accumulate points holding it so you want to stay in that spot and you want to move the battlefield from one area to the next this i mean honestly the star wars battlefront games on ps2 demonstrated how that mode was meant so then what then what happened um then it became like what killzone did where you had to cycle through different modes where it's like we're going to put all the modes in one you have to play deathmatch you have to play capture flag you have to oh terrorists and bomb defusal but I didn't like having being forced to cycle through those modes. Um, I would have just preferred one mode versus another. But that's a way to keep all the players together, um, keep the matches going. The modes aren't really a big deal. That was their philosophy, I suppose. And um, Call of Duty did that too, where it's like, we're not even going to let you choose a map because we want you... We don't want to split the player base and like, oh, that map's not popular, that mode's not popular. So it's just like loading, loading, loading. I'm not against it. Um, I know why they did it. It's kind of like a concession you have to make even as a player. Where's the fucking next match, dude? So then... Spent half hour downloading this shit, dude. Uh, For free. (laughs) So then what? Then it becomes Battle Royale, it becomes Fortnite building, and it becomes PUBG. And it becomes, we want wide open level spaces. That's what it becomes. But I mean, because no one designs levels anymore, they don't know how to make materials that are nothing but a square, a blue hallway. And they just procedurally generate outdoor environments. Look at this grass, look at this mud. Okay, that's a level. So that's what it is now. Nobody just makes. And then look at at how tough it was for Warzone to make a map. 
And it's like it's not that the Warzone map was bad; it's that people got people got used to it. Um, they got used to the movement, they got used to the guns, they got used to the map, and they just wanted more. Um, but I guess what we're getting now, Caldera, this is pretty ridiculous that I have to wait for a fucking match like this. I mean, I think it's absurd. Um, but I mean, complain more. Uh, or, you know, talk about first-person shooters more. So, I don't know. Um, um, getting back into multiplayer versus shooters, it's not that I was ever um, outside of multiplayer. It's that I was never in some type of an online space. Games were never online because on PC it was LAN, and then it was dial-up, and then it was PS2. So by the time anybody had high-speed internet, it's like I wasn't gaming on PC. And then PS3 had online, and it's like, oh, I never even thought about checking out the multiplayer modes. Because it's like either I played multiplayer with friends, or I either played multiplayer with friends, or... Now that's it. I played single player. So it's like... And then it's like, maybe yeah, so it was offline multiplayer. So this concept of an online game... I don't know, I'm open to it. So, and now all consoles are online, all the player bases are online, everybody's exploring online games, it's all free to play. Do you want massive multiplayer? Do you want a single player where you're linked to online? Do you want to build a character in single player and take it online for co-op or versus? Do you want competitive versus but it's online? I don't know. I don't know. Some ga some genres are built for online player versus another. Um, first person shooters on PS5 seem very good. PvP games honestly might not. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm certainly not going to wait for a next match in this lobby. Uh, Hyperscape, uh, it's pretty much just utter trash.